Uh, you know, I actually wasn't going to say anything in the beginning here, but it just struck me so much that we're kind of on the other side rewriting history. First of all, um, they will mention that it took this long to come up with a piece of legislation. This is complex legislation. During the time they have the majority in the House, in the Senate, and the presidency, um, we didn't see anything really substantive done to stop the fentanyl flow. It increased. We didn't see anything really substantively done to have borders. Ladies and gentlemen, let's tell the truth. No nation of any strength, no nation of any worth would go without having borders. You must have functional borders to have a functional nation. And we want to talk about cruelty, like literally the Republican members here want to be cruel. Nobody's attempting to be cruel. It's cruel what we're doing. It's cruel that babies are thrown over the border hoping that something will be done with them and they can just get them across so the cartel can make money from the people who have that done. It's cruel what we're doing to Americans because we're introducing the cartel into our way of life. You've heard many individuals now comment that one our next war, as it was, is going to be with the cartels. They shouldn't be in America. When I was in Yuma, I visited, you know, many different areas at the border, but when I was in Yuma, the cartels had so little respect for the inspection that was going on that we were part of that they were doing wheelies and circles around us. They don't respect the United States. They're creating a huge, not, it is a huge, not creating, it is a huge fentanyl problem. Um, these children, you want to talk about cruelty. When these children get over here, they are almost in bondage. They're working at ages they should never be working, at jobs they should never be doing. Many of them, many of them are raped in the process. And we're calling this a humane process that exists now? These are little kids, and we're letting that happen. They're used for child labor, sex, sex slavery. And then there's a terror watch list. We do have people that get through that are on the terror watch list that we don't catch. Nobody wants to say that. They're doing the best job they can at the border, but we don't have enough people. It's called the rule of law. What, what is being done that's so deceptive is saying that you don't like immigration and you don't want immigration. That is not the case. We want legal immigration. We want safe immigration. We want children that aren't going to be used as sexual slaves. We don't want amnesty misused for something that it wasn't meant for. There's a specific perfect purpose for amnesty, and we've gone way beyond that. Crime, cruelty, sexual slavery, the huge cost to America, the dangers that exist, the cartel mocking us, Mayorkas who doesn't looks like he's dazed, I'm sorry, but this is a man who should resign or should be impeached. He's doing a terrible job, and he doesn't even admit the obvious. It's so obvious what's happening at our border. It's so terrible what's happening at our border. It's so hurtful to Americans and to the people that are crossing, and most of all to the children. And Mayorkas says everything is fine. You show him a picture, you show him a vision of what's going on, you show him on, on television or on a video, and he says everything's okay. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not okay. That's why we're here today. And it is a difficult issue, and there aren't easy answers. But I think you find the answers with the rule of law. I find you have the answers when you seek compassion for children and young people that are being abused, and for adults, by the way, that are being abused. And I think you find the answer when you have an organized system in which you redo legal, that's the word, legal immigration. Don't let them confuse it, confuse you. There's legal and there's illegal. We, don't, we shouldn't have and we shouldn't want illegal immigration because it's causing all these problems. Legal immigration is a wonderful thing. We've all gone through that process together. So let's tell the truth. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's really try to fix the thing and not just try to throw out these, you know, words that really don't mean anything to anybody because they're not honest and they're not full of integrity in, in, in what they say. Nobody here wants to hurt anybody, but we do want a strong America 
and a strong border. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Gentlemen's time.